woman. She's in Ireland. I, I can't even really go into everything that she's done. I'm in awe of her. She spoke out continually. She was held for three hours in the airport in Dublin recently. I think there's like 20 of her because she's kind of here, there and everywhere. I want to hear you have a great big round of applause for not only a colleague, she's a friend, she's soon going to be helping myself and Dr. Kevin Corbett to set up a new nursing and midwifery board. Let's hear it for Professor Dolores Cahill! Who is signing? 
joining the dirt site, okay? Because you have to solve this problem. This is a global problem. You have to actually lay the problem down at an actual doctor who is a person or the minister or the prime minister in Ireland, Michal Martin or Boris Johnson. So we were writing and saying, who signed the death certs? And the doctors were saying, it's not us, go to the Department of Health. The Department of Health was saying the General Register's Office. But it turns out in Ireland, the responsibility lies with the coroners. And those coroners, there's an act, and if they don't do an autopsy and they don't do their job and question a diagnosis of COVID-19, the coroners can go to prison. And the crime is malfeasance. And in the UK, it's 10 years in prison. So also, all of you, if you're a parent and your teacher is saying that your child has to be tested for temperature, your child has to wear a mask, your child may have to get a vaccine without permission, then you can actually charge the teacher. You can put a notice of liability this weekend. And if they do it, you can hold them to account. So you can write your own notice of liability or search for one. It's very simple. If you, teacher, are putting a mask on my child, I will do it. We have a letter. Yep. And we will put it on where we have World Doctors Alliance. Um, and we also have different organizations. But with that letter, what we've done in Ireland, people have written to the coroners. And they were telling us the deaths, sadly, were 1,700. But we have been writing since May. And now, in the last week, the Chief Statistics Office in Ireland has come because we laid the responsibility at their door. And they said the total number of people that died in Ireland of coronavirus in November, December, January 2020, February 2020, and March 2020, guess how many people? Zero. this public health emergency that Boris has brought in and Matt Hancock and Pretty Patel who's going to call the police if you have seven people in your back garden. It's all based on a public health emergency. How can you have a public health emergency if zero people die? Zero. And what I would be saying to you is Ireland and England, Wales and Scotland, we're all in the same region. So in the coronavirus peak is between December and April. If nobody is dying, official statistics, then the legal basis of the public health emergency is not there. End the lockdown. The main things you have to do is to imagine. Imagine a world where politicians actually did what they were supposed to do and make our lives better. You imagine that? Remember the politician that you might have admired? And then in your mind's eye, you have to say, well, we are going to register for elections and you are going to stand for election or you're going to build a network of people from your county here today and we are or the other thing you can do is with your mp get 500 people to sign and recall those members of parliament recall boris johnson recall your energy on trying to wake up people because there's a Native American expression you can't wake up people that are not asleep you can't wake up people so that principal knows that it's wrong the restaurant owner knows it's wrong to track and trace you the good police here on duty they know in their hearts and souls
because what they're doing is wrong. And it's simply not good enough. It is not good enough for a restaurant owner to say it's the guidelines. It's simply not good enough for a teacher to take the temperature of a child to force them to wear masks because they are psychologically undermining them. Where are the doctors? Where are they here? But where is everyone else? Where are the doctors and psychiatrists? So what you can do, you can write a notice of liability, you can write to your members of parliament, you can try and get Boris Johnson recalled, Matt Hancock, Brittany Patel, because those people are not working for England, for Wales, for Scotland, for Ireland. They're working for themselves. They are betraying you. They are cowards. What they are doing is treason. including Ireland, the UK, Germany, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, Mexico, New Zealand. And we are working together to share information. But with Rocco Gelati, with Josefina from Spain, and I hope with Heiko in Germany, we're going to set up an international tribunal, an international court. And we are going and the health minister Seamus Donnelly because like in the UK and Ireland they shut down the hospitals so that means hundreds of people are not getting cancer diagnosis people with heart attacks are not going to the hospital the elderly are isolated in the care homes and they are psychically logically damaging the children in the schools the next generation so there are zero deaths in Ireland we have to hold behold, pardon to account.